It's time to Adventure Arkansas, brought to you by Adventure Subaru. Craig Blanchard of Crosses Arkansas is a jack of all trades, from remodeling his house, being a mechanic, to being Craig the Threat. On the basketball court, he's done it all. He hasn't stopped finding new challenges, this all despite being confined to a wheelchair for the past 25 years. After seeing others feel the freedom of floating, Craig decided to add kayaking to a list of obstacles he's overcome. They thought that that would be something that I could do. And I've been in a few canoe rides that I thought, man, I don't want you in my canoe no more. I think I could do a better job driving by myself. Craig gears up to head out along a portion of the White River. A life jacket. I do have a helmet. If I was to go down the river, I would certainly put on my helmet. His kayak has a little bit of extra padding, and he only goes out if someone else is with him. The whole idea is to experience it without getting hurt, and you can still at least end the adventure with the same level of functionality that you began with. For him, the sensation of being out in nature is addicting. And you get to see the beauty in the rocks. That is probably the most interesting part, and that just feels so good. It makes me want to do some more of it. Craig says when he was younger, he was inspired by a man simply riding a chair down the street. Now, he shares that inspiration with others by building a trail in his backyard called the Victory Walk. And you'll only be able to experience this path into nature by being in a chair. And the limitation, I guess just like anyone else, is what you put on yourself. For this week's Adventure Arkansas, I'm Sean Bailey.